Tonight, local cities are prepared for the incoming storm. KSPY News reporter Alexa Bertola looked into how they're ready for what's to come. She's live in Morro Bay to explain. Alexa. Richard, the community center here in Morro Bay may serve as an evacuation center if needed. Now, the city says it all depends on flooding and other potential damage from the storm. It's the calm before the storm. Bring it on. <laughs> We need the rain. The wet weather and wind are expected to deliver a one-two punch. I'm getting five bags and I'm putting them in front of the garage door because we have a slope and the water runs down and if it's if there's not enough room for it to drain, it's just going to go into the garage. Flooding, mudslides, down trees and power lines are all top of mind. This year, because we had the Avalo fire uh, last summer, we did want to have additional preparation. Each city is assessing what could happen given recent history of fires or previous flooding. In Pismo Beach, equipment like a Vactor truck to suck up water in this front loader are staged in front of City Hall. It's all hands on deck. We will have additional crews on standby, uh, all of our city personnel. Uh, that includes public works, police, fire. Extra staffing on standby is standard across the board. Caltrans crews are monitoring the roads. A 44-mile stretch of Highway 1 from Ragged Point to the Big Sur Inn is now closed. This closure, which will last until Thursday, is in support of the evacuations that may be possible given the weather and given the impacts left by the Dolan fire. Stores like Miners Ace Hardware in Morro Bay are seeing storm supplies selling fast. I knew storms were coming. Unfortunately, the tarp I got was um, had strings in it. It was too darn small. So today I replaced it with a bigger tarp. Anything that produces lighter heat is flying off the shelves in addition to flood proofing materials. Right here we have Henry's, um, which people are going to use on their roofs to seal any leaks, anything like that prepare for more water that's coming. As the dry conditions turn into more seasonable weather, Central Coast residents are bracing to batten down the hatches and let Mother Nature get to work. We need the rain so bad. We've been missing uh, a storm, so it's about time to have one. Residents are encouraged to stay at home and off the roads tomorrow and Thursday. For now, live in Morro Bay, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. All right, Alexa, thank you. If you see large trees or power lines knocked down or see significant flooding, call 911.